Hey guys, my name is Alexander Bills. Welcome to this screencast about something I've been working on now for quite a while. Today I'm really humbled and excited to share a first glance on my Unity NS runner asset with you. Over the last month I've developed a Unity asset which makes the process of creating an endless runner game, like Temper Run, really simple. Without much talking, let's jump directly into Unity 3D and take a look. I've set up a pretty basic scene with a capsule that is currently representing my player. This player can be rotated and forced to jump by swiping. If you tilt the device right or left, the player will also move slightly to the side. The script that is responsible for randomly placing the parts is currently attached to this empty game object called script handler. So let's take a closer look at the options in the inspector panel. The first two slots let you specify the minimum and maximum number of elements that are placed between two corners or a fork and a corner. Each element slot, like elements facing forwards, can be filled with multiple different game objects, even with different sizes. It's as simple as hitting the play plus button here on the right side and then navigate to your game object. The script will then randomly pick an element of, of the appropriate list. You also don't have to care about making your game objects all the same length as the script is measuring them. Currently, I'm only having one object per slot. The amount of subsections right there specifies the number of elements that is built ahead of the player. A really big number can slow down your game, otherwise if the number is too small, it's possible that the player can see the last element. So let's start the game by hitting the play button. You will notice that the player automatically starts moving. As soon as we pass the first parts, the script deletes them and places new objects at the current end of the path. If a fork element is placed, it will continue on both sides until it recognizes if we moved right or left, and it will then continue only on the appropriate side. So please keep in mind that this asset is currently not fully finished. I hope you did enjoy this short video. If you have any questions feel free to comment or drop me a message.